Hi Sagittarius, this is your February 2022 reading, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for February 2022 in love, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for February 2022 in love universal energies show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for February 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so sagittarius sag this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Sag. This is you. This is your partner. So, Sag. I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For February 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Sag, is the Ten of Wands. Aries, we are a Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you or your partner. So Sag, listen, you know, very well could be that something is difficult or heavy to deal with, you know, either as you guys as a couple or someone here individually, and maybe even wanting to release this burden. Clarify the Ten of Wands. For Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Ten of Wands. For Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Ten of Wands. For Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is either you or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Sag, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra. But you or your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So, Sag, listen, <clears throat> could be dealing with a Libra. But someone here could say that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Someone may want to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or we're dealing with something in the justice system. You know, someone could be threatening to take something to the justice system here. Clarify justice for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify justice for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify justice for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. 
So Sag could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Sag, listen, you know, very well could be that something, someone is burdened with something and wanting to get it off their chest. Really? Wanting to get it off their chest or maybe set the record straight here. Okay, maybe they just want to, you know, make things fair, balanced, and just, okay? And it's causing you guys to go on a break. But Sag, it very well could be that, you know, there's a confrontation because something is difficult to deal with here. And like I said, someone could be threatening to go to the justice system here and cause you guys to be on a break. We'll see. Sag, you have the Three of Cups. You have the Page of Cups. You have the Hermit. Your partner has... The King of Pentacles, your partner has the Star, and your partner has the Ace of Pentacles. So, Sag, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds. Like I said, someone may be wanting to get something off their chest because, yes, yeah, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. And either way, you guys could go on a break or someone no longer wants to be on a break. This is why they're clearing the air and setting the record straight. However, Sag, you know, there could be a confrontation happening because something is so difficult and heavy to deal with here. And you guys still may go on a break. And like I said, someone could be threatening to go to the justice system. I don't know for what. Maybe legal separation and divorce. I don't know. Sag, listen, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Sag, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you're wanting to reunite here or there was a third party. Clarify the three of cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the three of cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the three of cups. For Sagittarius, the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a fated event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that everything has changed here. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Sagittarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you know, there was a betrayal because tens are endings and maybe someone is getting over a betrayal. And I say someone because it could be you or them. Maybe there is a change here and you guys are reuniting. However, Sag, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed because there was a betrayal because there was a third party. Sag, you have the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. 
So Sag, love messages and an apology. You can be sending love messages and an apology out. You can be receiving it from your partner. You can tell me that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with a Leo. Now listen, you can tell me you're happy because some apology is coming in or love messages are coming in. However, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun. For Sagittarius, clarify the sun. For Sagittarius, clarify the sun. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that was spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played and you want to be happy, maybe sending out this apology and love message here. Because maybe you're wanting to change things here. Maybe you betrayed them and you're wanting to reunite and change things. However, Sag, you can tell me that you're hurt, disappointed, and let down, feeling betrayed here because something was illuminated here. You could have found love messages or heard the news of them sharing love or some news about what love produced here, causing you this sense of betrayal because they had a third party. Sag, you have the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Sag could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the hermit. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Sag, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but listen, you can tell me that things are ending here. However, things could start new after an ending, okay? Or some type of transformation or change here. Clarify death for Sagittarius. Clarify death. For Sagittarius, clarify death. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Sag could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you guys are having this communication here. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity here, Sag. You can tell me that you're using this sword to sever or making a decision. So you're trying to manifest some type of truth here or a communication or severing here, Sag. You thought long and hard about it. And I feel like you're wanting to change something here. End it for good or transform it and start new after an ending. So Sag, I feel like something is difficult here because you're going through something. I feel like you're wanting this confrontation because you're trying to manifest this communication and manifest this truth here, Sag. 
something may not have been fair balance or just because it caused you this pain here sag and it could be a threat to go to the justice system could be dealing with taurus virgo capricorn or someone you have stability with sag and i feel like you guys are on a break i also feel like you're trying to recover here sag because <sighs> this is heavy energy here Sad, your partner has the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Sag could be dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the world. So your partner may be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Sag, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys have distance between you. Emotional distance, geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the world for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the world for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity. But she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. But also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone a wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So, Sag could be dealing with a Taurus. You know, you guys may have this commitment here. This could be about forgiveness. This can be about dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences of values. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is it's restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Sag could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the devil for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the devil for Sagittarius' partner. The hangman. 
He'll be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But your partner may be beginning to change their perspective. So Sag could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner could tell me that you guys are stagnant. And yes, maybe stagnant, but maybe they're changing their perspective. Clarify the hangman for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the hangman for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the hangman for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take the leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Sag, listen, very well could be dealing with an Aries, but your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, I just want to start new. I want to set out on a brand new journey. I want to up and do something here, take a leap of faith. Your partner could tell me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Sag, listen, yes, your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, I, you know, your partner could tell me that they did something here. They took some type of chance here, maybe came across this abundance because did we have just cause to celebrate and a change in luck and fortune, but it was a letdown, Sag? However, your partner could tell me that they're single here, that a cycle is closing out, there's a cutting off. You guys may have a commitment, a legal binding contract here. You're going stagnant here because maybe someone took a risk or a chance, or your partner's saying they just want to start and be, become single here, Sag. <sighs> Were you guys on the road to maybe reunite and there was a change that caused you to sense of betrayal here? Huh, Sag, listen, your partner has a star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny, destiny. So Sag could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner could tell me that you know, they're following their destiny. They're getting their wish. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to heal individually on their own or they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the star for Sagittarius's. Oh boy. Clarify the star for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the star for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with this king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Sag could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the spouse, parent of your child, Someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Clarify the king of pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the king of pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the king of pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Every time I shuffle, I keep seeing this hermit or the king or queen of pentacles. I keep seeing them every time. Every time it is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition, but they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now, Sag. Hmm. So, Sag, listen. Your partner could tell me that, yes, you guys aren't speaking. Your partner could tell me that they're using an intuition here or they have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius' partner. 
Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius' partner. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult, something is heavy, something feels like a lot of work, something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders, something is a burden here for your partner. Now this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is them wanting to release a burden, Sag. So Sag, listen, your partner is telling me that maybe something heavy is weighing on them. You know, it very well could be that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now and they need to heal. However, Sag, your partner could be holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out. And they're using their intuition wanting to release this burden here, maybe, and set the record straight. Sag, your partner has the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings here. So an offer of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Sag could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Sag, also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Sag, listen, <clears throat> your partner could tell me that, hey, there's an offer of maybe commitment coming in here. They're using their intuition, searching their emotions concerning it. Maybe wanting to level up and have this commitment. However, Sag, your partner could tell me that you guys had this commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics going on. But in tarot, tens are endings. And it could be an ending over some type of practicality or something, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or doing something with those coins. Remember I mentioned those coins to you, Sag? Sag, you know, it looks like your partner is wanting to get something off their chest because they're wanting to heal something here. And maybe they're even wanting to come in and jump high, come back around again, and maybe wanting to do some legal binding contract, some type of documentation for commitment, legal binding contract. You guys are stagnant, but they're wanting to take a leap of faith because maybe they no longer want to be single. Sag, but there's some type of hurt here. And you may have to think long and hard about this transformation that they're you know, coming with and making a decision here, Sag. Hmm. And you guys may have been on a road to go into some type of commitment here, but it changed because of some type of betrayal. And this is the reason why they're ready to jump high here, Sag. I feel like your partner has something they want to get off their chest here. I feel like they want to set the record straight. I feel like they're bringing up the justice of the peace here because they want this stability between you guys here. This is something that they're meditating on using their intuition and searching their emotions concerning. And yes, you guys was on a break, but I feel like they're coming back in a big way, Sag. Sag, this is your February. 2022 reading you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys next week peace